Okay. I love it that you set that up out here. Yeah, isn't that pretty yeah. wild, man? Wild. I'll just live right there. Wouldn't that be kind of neat? Put a little, yeah, oh, put a bed in it. In the 60s, everybody, like, other than James Burton, who's the first one with the guts to kind of stand up and go, I'm gonna play it. You know, everybody sort of tore the paper, the wallpaper off of these, because it looks like a hippie threw up on this guitar. I went into Chicago Music Exchange and I just said, hey, um, you got any like 68, 69 tellies? And they said, we just got a refin 68. So they went onto the floor and grabbed this black telly off of the wall and brought it into me, hand it to me, and I play it. And it's great. It's, it feels great. And I said, well, I've always wanted to buy one and have Bill Crook, who does an amazing job of, of replicating the paper and doing a, a Paisley guitar. I've always wanted to make one of Paisley sort of in reverse, as opposed to oh, somebody right. tearing yeah. it apart. And I told Bill about it. I said, hey, I got, I got this guitar, and I'm going to send it to you, and we're going to refin it. So I sent it to him. He puts it, he hangs it on the wall of his shop, makes a cup of coffee, gets ready to dig in and tear the finish off and make the paper and do everything he needs to do. And he looked at it and went, no. So he takes the guitar and he takes off the neck plate. He sends me a picture and he says, you're not going to believe what's underneath the paint on this Ooh, guitar. that's great. And the entire, everything you see on here, the back, the top, all that was under there. He said he feels like somebody took an acrylic can and just emptied a black can on this thing, probably back in like 1970. And it's Big, been yeah. preserved since then. And so I, I named it La Brea, like the tar pits here in California. When I got it, the pickups were horrendous. And that's yeah. kind of, they were the originals, but that's a typical thing, the inconsistencies in the late 60s. Sometimes you get a great one, sometimes you get a bad one. So you made the perfect set. And this, I mean, it is paired up perfect for this. It's really, it's really fun to actually make a pickup set, I think, uh, and to do this with you as, as somebody, first, you know, after, aftermarket pickup I ever bought was a Seymour Duncan for a guitar and um, I think that's just about everybody's story and to have designed one with you it's, there's something really special about also not just designing a pickup set but it's for a specific guitar these will work in anything I, any telly you stick these in is going to be improved I think uh, from what's stock probably but you know the beauty of it is it was made for this and made yeah. for me and, and it's nice to be able to offer something that people can tell me, hey, how do you get that? Or how do I, how do I get that right. sound? It's like, well, here they are. You need these, first of all. 